Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you my arcade setup using Attract Mode 2.2.1. So basically this is my setup so far. Um, this is something I've been working on for uh, quite some time now I guess. Everything has the artwork included, um, the videos to go with the artwork, and I mean this is, I'm using Project 64 for Nintendo 64. This I'm using, I believe it's ZSNES. For Super Nintendo. For the NES I'm using Nestopia. Uh, I find it to be 
the best F C E U X uh is also another another good one. Um for this one I'm using I believe it's K Fusion or Kega Fusion. <clears throat> and this is for Sega Genesis. Um we'll go to TurboGrafx 16. Uh this one here I'm using Mednafen and it's it takes quite a bit of of settings for this one. Um but all in all, works really, really well for me. Um, this is the Master System, Sega Master System. Uh, I mentioned in a, another video um, that there was three Mortal Kombats for for the Sega Master System, and there they are. Um, even though it was two buttons, I'm sure it's fun to play. I've actually never tested them, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's one punch, one kick, and you're not really doing a whole lot. Um, We'll go, this is Showdown 64, and this is a hack of um, No Mercy for the Nintendo 64. Um, it's it's really good. I mean, this is so up to date. All the new wrestlers are in there. There's different arenas, different belts. It's, it's really, really cool. Uh, this is just a list of my favorites. I use the Pac-Man theme uh, just to differen dif blah, excuse me, differentiate it from my actual MAME setup. Um... You can see that I don't always have the marquees, and that's not a big deal for me. I wouldn't mind if they all said MAME. Um, that's fine by me. I more worry about all of the other artwork and the videos just matching up and, and everything working uh, as it should. Um, we can move on. We're back to Nintendo 64. Now when I take us back to the main menu you see that I have mostly commercials playing for the system. You know, a lot of people do um, just your standard gameplay videos, and, and I like that for each game. I think that's great. Um, but for me, I mean, these old commercials, they really, they take me back. Uh, I mean, I remember watching them on TV and just getting so excited to, to get the console, um, especially this Nintendo right here. Uh, my Nintendo and my Super Nintendo, those were the two biggest ones for me. The Sega Genesis uh, actually got later in its life, and uh, I definitely enjoy the system for sure. Uh, TurboGrafx-16, you know, very underrated console. Unfortunately, it didn't sell well, so there's only 94 um, North American games released. But a cool console. It, it, it is a really cool console. Um, a friend of my dad's had it when I was a kid, and... When, every time we went to his house, I was so excited to play it, you know, because I had Nintendo, but the Turbo Graphics was really cool as well. Uh, the Sega Master System, um, this was, my cousin Jenny had the Sega Master System. Um, we used to go to visit, and it was great to play. I mean, it, you know, it came with built-in games, so if you had no cartridge, you could just slide the power on, and you had some built-in games. I want to say it was Alex Kidd, but I, I could be wrong. Uh, again, there's the Showdown 64. I just use Stone Cold's entrance and his belt. I always liked the uh, Smoking Skull belt, so that's why I went with that. And the MAME, uh, this is a MAME intro video, and so I use that for my favorites as well as my MAME. Um, if you look on the bottom left hand of the, the screen there, you'll see I could differentiate them by it says favorites or MAME. Um, but that's my setup so far. Uh, I have another setup in the works that's a little more animated. I like this one. It's my retro um, version of it. And I'll be sure to post a video of my more animated version. I'll just call it version 2 uh, in a future video. So, again, guys, thanks for watching and have a good day.